Okay, continuation on from my previous bit of video. This is a review of the ZRX Raven drone. And as you can see here, it's the control. And here we've got the drone itself. Now, since a previous bit of video I just did, you see I've fitted up the very much needed blade guards. There's four of them, and I've also to put the legs in place, so they're all fitted up with little microscopic screws. <coughs> Oops, I'm dropping it already. Oh yeah. Okay, clumsy clutch home. There's a the camera in place. Got tilt controls on there, and it's got to have a micro SD card put at the back end. You notice I've got this plug here; it's still disconnected. There's the on/off switch in here. So yeah, this does all the power to the camera and the um, tilt controls. But because I've got the issue with this particular plug here, it does not want to lock in place. I can't fly with the, the camera working at this stage. But I would like to do, put some video up on YouTube of what this camera can see and how clear it is. If that's 720 pixels, it would be nice to be a lot higher resolution, like 1080. But there's a little locking mechanism to lock it in underneath. It can be very tricky if you can't see what you're doing. So if you get yourself one of these, <clears throat> Make sure that you do it in fairly, fairly good light anyway. Now, basically, with it now sitting like this, it will be easier to find out which way is forward and back when we switch it on. What we end up doing first, I'll switch it on from underneath, and the white lights are the front. Green other oven at the back. Control here. Once it's switched on, the lights flicker, and the throttle control to the top should peep, but it hasn't. There's a peep at the bottom. Yeah, that's now in flight mode. The left hand joystick controls the speed of the rotors. Okay, I shall pass the camera across to my assistant and we're going to have a look at how this works. Okay. As you can see with all this together, Right here is the, the camera in a bit clearer light. Hopefully you can see that. And this is now ready and waiting to go. Up here. So it shows that all four blades are now ready to go. And up here you've got camera controls. You've got all the other settings up here which I won't go through just yet. It's worth reading the instruction book of course. There's throttle mode. Now, once you get it up far enough, whoops, a minute, I've lost something here. Bear with me a minute. Make okay, sure I've got this right. I think I've found my loose connection. When you first switch these things on, you put the throttle here on the left, all the way up. Should go peep. And there's a peep when it comes all the way back. Yeah. All right. Oops, I'm not going to do anything.
Okay. Just practice runs at the moment. That's a short demo. I'll get it flying in a moment. Okay, as you can see here, it's our X Raven drone. Now we're back inside. There's the camera mounted up underneath. I'll do this without dropping it. It's a whole unit. I've got the um, camera unit set at a slight angle at the moment. The instructions suggest that you don't disconnect this uh, camera too often. But the problem is you have to if you want to get to the battery compartment. Something else that you do have to buy with the uh, Raven drone, apart from the four AA batteries for the radio control unit, you can buy the micro SD card. Which, as you can see, is a micro SD card there. Not very big, of course. So micro SDs are. The problem is to get it into here. I'm going to have to move all this wiring so I can do it. Down here, got three different connection ports and the on off switch here at the back. So the uh, power cable here on the left. And there I am. And then you've got the uh, camera controls here on the right. So it's a two pin and a three pin plug. And back here there's another three pin plug as well. I found plugging into the, the back one. The um, plug keeps dropping out. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if we can get this thing done. Not the easiest thing to get to when you've got one hand, but still. Bear with me a sec. Because it's not easy to do this single handed. This will only go one way around. There's your contacts, face the, the downside or the underside of the camera. Top side of the card goes to the drone. As with SD cards and micro SD cards, they'll only go one way. Okay. Once we've got this right. Now locking it in. Yeah, hear that click. It's now locked in place. There's the clips for it to go onto. And down into here. Right, goes into there. Slide it forward and lock it in place and you're done. 